Hi everyone, this is Making Comics Part 2 and we're going to think about the lettering of your title today. Okay, so in video one, uh, I recommended that you, at the top of your page, you leave a section here for your title. Okay, like so. And mine's the thickness of a ruler. Yours can be as thick as it likes, as you like. So I've also got another bit of paper here, which is quite important because we need to do some sketching and some thinking about this. So you need to decide on the title of um, your comic. Okay, so it might be one word, it might be several words. So for example, if my title is Jimmy, okay, I'm going to write out the word Jimmy, J-I-M-M-Y. So you get your word. And then you're going to count how many letters are in that word. OK, so one, two, three, four, five. OK, so in the middle of my word is the letter M. If it was a six letter word, it would be three on each side. But this one, Jimmy, the middle of the word Jimmy in terms of numbers of letters is M. So if I'm going to lay out my word Jimmy across here, I'm going to have to split this section into five bits okay now i'm going to find my center point i'm going to use my ruler to do this okay so my center point here i've got 21 centimeters so i'll do half of 21 10 and a half so i'm going to mark this here and you'll notice guys i'm using a pencil for this so my m is going to go here right i'm going to have an my on this side to M here and an I and a J here. Okay, now I don't want my lettering to go to right to the very edge, so I'm going to bring in a centimeter here and a centimeter here, roughly. Okay, so I need to put my letters here five letters one, two, three, four, five. So let's think about this. Okay, and it's worth doing this carefully and properly, guys, because this makes a big difference, right? If you've been taught by me, I go mention this quite a lot. The classic error is to start writing a word, doing this brilliant lettering. You might have done this in year three when we did um, Crindle Cracks, the newspaper report. You do some amazing lettering and you get to about here and you realise that you've got to cram in loads of letters here, right? So you squash them up. And this, this stops you doing that, this technique. So... I've got to think carefully. If I've got my M here, I need to put two and a half letters this side, two and a half letters this side, and I'm going to measure this nine and a half centimetres, roughly. Okay, so I've got approximately three centimetres per letter. So, thinking about that here, mark that off. So my M is going to go like this. My other M... It's going to go like this. My Y is going like this. My I, now I's are really thin, but I can thicken them up by going like this. And then I'm going to have my J here. Okay? So you can hopefully see Jimmy. And it's centralised. So once I've got that sketched out, I can then use my lettering skills here. I might want to do some thick lettering. Have that coming out. And it's really worth taking your time with this and thinking carefully, okay? Jimmy, all right? And you can see that, that's nicely laid out. And it's nice and clear. Now you might want to, if you want to say it's the adventures of Jimmy or Super Jimmy, you can do these clever little tricks. Like you might want to write the word super like this and then put that inside a star or a kind of explosion shape like this. Super Jimmy. And then if you're making your comic, you might want to say who it's by. Okay, over here by Mr. D or whoever you want, right? Well, whoever you are. Um, and there you go. Okay, you want to? You might want to add to that even more. You might want to do a little bit of block shading here. Choosing one side of the letter just to thicken up like this. And you might want to add colour and so on. 
Okay, so we've done section one. In, in part one, we thought about the layout, how to do speech bubbles, thought bubbles, things like this. This is the title. That really makes your comic look really interesting um, and sort of professional. In the next videos, we will talk about the drawing and the layout of each of the panes in a little bit more detail. Okay, guys, if you're entering the competition, good luck. I would love to see what you come up with. All right, take care. Bye.